Hi there, my name is Yvonne Onugun and I'm the owner and lead planner of Events by Maven. We are a wedding and event planning company based here in Westchester, New York, but we provide services to couples in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Um, over the past couple of months, uh, it's it's been you know crazy with coronavirus, aka COVID-19, and essentially the world as we knew it has kind of come to a major pause um, especially for, you know, the event and wedding industry, um, couples have had to, you know, within the past few months, try to figure out how to navigate all of this. You know, do I postpone? Do I cancel? Um, do I have a small ceremony where we practice social distancing, but that way we still get to keep, you know, our ceremony date. Um, do I get a refund if I cancel my event? It's just been a lot to figure out. And I think the one challenging and also frustrating thing about this whole uh, situation that we're in is the not knowing when this will end because then it makes it hard for you to make a decision you know if I postpone what date do I postpone the wedding to when you know when will it be safe to have people gather in large groups together um, and not worry about the safety and health of yourself your guests and your loved ones a lot of couples have decided to play it safe and just move their wedding date to 2021. Um, hopefully by then this is all over. We have the all clear to be out and about and gather together in large numbers and celebrate. Now, if you're not one of those couples and you're still looking to hopefully have a 2020 wedding, I have five tips for you if you're a 2020 couple um, and you're still trying to figure out how to navigate all of this. So tip number one is wedding insurance. I know that's one thing that a lot of people typically don't think about when planning a wedding. Usually they think, you know, ah, what's the worst that can happen? Maybe bad weather. So if I was thinking about an outdoor ceremony, the worst case, we'll move it indoors. Um, so eh, I don't need wedding insurance. But in the times that we're in, I would highly recommend that you look into wedding insurance. Um, it varies by state, it varies by provider, but you want to make sure that you have that conversation with your provider. You ask those questions to make sure it covers you in the event of a cancellation, a postponement, or something goes wrong with a vendor who has to cancel last minute because maybe they're not feeling too well. Like You make sure you ask those important questions. Um, if you're having a destination wedding, there are some providers that provide coverage for destination weddings, so make sure that you ask those questions. But again, in the times that we're in and just knowing how much financial investment goes into a wedding, you're better safe, you know, making sure that you're covered as much as possible. So number one tip, wedding insurance. Tip number two is to check your vendor contracts and communicate with your vendors. I cannot stress this enough. In the event that you've already booked you know, your vendors and now you're considering postponing um, your wedding, um, I know a lot of couples typically tend to want to lock in the date with the venue first and then have that conversation with the other vendors later. I would say if you can, I suggest you ask your venue to give you 24 to 48 hours to connect with your other vendors to make sure that they're available for that date as well. The last thing you want to do is to lock in a new date with your venue, but then come to find out your other vendors are all unavailable and then you have to start from scratch researching, sourcing, and finding new vendors to work with. But also, depending on what the contract with that vendor is, you might lose out on the deposit you've already made. And that's a lot of money to lose out on. So check with your other vendors first to know if they're available before you lock in that date with your um, venue. So that way you're not losing out on money. And also you're not losing out on having to work with this wonderful vendor who you've wanted to work with for your special dream day and having to start from scratch to find a new vendor. Now to tip number three, which has to do with updating your guests. Um, similar to you, your guests are just as anxious during this time, especially for those who have to travel. 
um, for your wedding, they're thinking, do I buy a ticket? Do I not buy a ticket? Do I book a hotel? What do I do? Is this wedding even still happening? Um, and depending on the number of guests that you have for your wedding, you could have hundreds of people reaching out to you asking, what's going on? Have you decided what you're doing? And that can feel overwhelming. So my recommendation is to be proactive with your guests. Reach out to them before they reach out to you. So that way you don't have hundreds of people texting you, calling you, emailing you, and adding more stress and anxiety to what is already a very stressful situation. Um, if you have a wedding website, which I hope you do, um, it's easy to just put up a message on the website so that way, you know, everyone has access to it and everyone knows what's going on. Additionally, you can send out an email to all your guests stating what the status of things is. And you can simply just be honest to say, hey, our date hasn't changed at this time. However, within the next couple of weeks or a few weeks, um, we'll make a final decision on how we plan to move forward. Thank you for your patience and hope everyone's staying safe. Tip number four has to do with the design for your wedding day. If you had plans of getting custom designs made for your wedding that had you know, your wedding date in that design, my suggestion is to put a pause on that for now. I'm not saying don't do custom, but I'm saying put a pause on going through to produ production um, for now. now. My suggestion is to just not include a date in that design. Keep it to your names, your initials, uh, maybe your hashtag, but don't, include, but don't include a date. So that way you can still use it regardless of what date your wedding is. Last but not least is tip number five. And honestly, this is one that you've probably heard from everybody. And it is to be flexible and understanding. And flexible because, as I said earlier, we are in uncharted territory right now because things keep changing. Um, we don't know when this will all be over. Um, my hope is that you don't have to reschedule or postpone your wedding multiple times. But keep an open heart, be flexible. At the end of the day, you will marry the love of your life. Um, regardless of when that will happen, um, we, we're all just thankful right now to be safe, healthy, and to have family and loved ones be safe and healthy. That's the priority so that they can actually be at your wedding whenever it is. So be flexible. Um, and be understanding in the event that, you know, a family member or a close friend chooses to say, you know what, I just don't feel comfortable being in large gatherings right now. I'm sorry, but I won't be attending your wedding. You just have to be understanding. You know, people have to look out for their health. Um, and you don't want someone to feel uneasy being at your celebration. So be flexible and be understanding because the times are just crazy right now and we're all just trying to get through before you go i have one bonus tip for you and it is to get help um we're all juggling a lot right now between trying to keep you know working from home trying to homeschool trying to check up on family and loved ones and make sure everyone's okay having to reorganize or postpone a wedding might be overwhelming and a lot to deal with during this time so get help. If you were a bride who didn't have a plan or a coordinator, maybe now's the time to um, get one on board to help you navigate all of this. And so to that end, I'm offering um, 45 minutes complimentary consultation calls uh, for brides and couples in the tri-state area who need help. And just, you know, sometimes it's easier when you talk things through with someone to kind of like figure out what to do. If you're that couple, feel free to email me at eventsbymaven at gmail.com. Again, it's 45 minutes complimentary and I'll help you figure out and navigate how can we apply all these wonderful tips to your situation and make it work for you. So to quickly recap, tip number one was wedding insurance. Um, look into that and see how would this work for my situation, what's covered, what's not. Um, there are lots of providers and they have different offerings. 
Um, even if you have a destination wedding, there are providers that have co uh, coverages that work for destination weddings. So number one, wedding insurance. Number two is to check your contracts with your vendors and to communicate with your vendors. Again, I know the first thing most people try to do is to check in with the venue and say, hey, what new dates do you have available? I want to lock this in right now. Just ask your venue um, manager for about 24 to 48 hours to check in with your other vendors to see are they available, are they not? And if they're not, what is that going to mean for me? Do I have to lose all my initial deposit? Do I get it back? Figure that all out with your vendor uh, before you lock in your new date with the venue. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is to update your guests. And my strong recommendation is to be proactive in communicating to them. So that way you reach out to them before they reach out to you. Depending on your guest list, you don't want 200 and 300 people calling, texting, emailing, and asking, what's going on? That's just an additional layer of stress and anxiety that you do not need. So manage that by putting up a message on your website, or in addition to a message on the website, send out an email to everyone saying what the status is. Hey, our date still stands for now, but within the next few weeks, we're going to figure out and make a final decision on if we're postponing or if the date still stands. Thank you for your patience and understanding and all that good stuff. Tip number four is to put a hold on custom designs. Don't cancel, but put a hold on custom designs. Or better still, just take out the date if you have your wedding date in your custom design. So that way, regardless of what date your wedding is, you still have your beautiful designs to use without any issues at all. And tip number five, be flexible, be understanding. Everyone is in the same situation as you. They might not have a wedding that they have to reschedule, but everyone is kind of on pins and needles, anxious about the unknown. Do I travel? Do I not travel? What do we do? So be, be flexible, be understanding if you have to you know, make changes or if there's certain elements of your wedding that you might have to you know, do without for, for whatever reason, be flexible and be understanding. At the end of the day, what matters is you getting married to the love of your life. And bonus final tip, get help. Um, it's a lot going on. So if you feel like I can't, reorganize or replan a wedding during this crazy times, get help. Um, it'll save you a lot of stress and it'll help you navigate things much more easily. And like I said, if you're in the tri-state area, we are offering 45 minutes complimentary um, consultation call. Take advantage of it. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, my email is eventsbymaven at gmail.com. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen or on the side somewhere. Um, but again, have a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, be patient with yourself. Be patient with everyone around you. Everyone is doing the best they can in the times that we're in. And like the governor of New York keeps saying, we're all in this together and we're all going to get through this together. Um, our new website will be up soon look out for that and hopefully we get to do more videos. Fingers crossed. Have a wonderful week.